What's up, guys? It's Team No Nonsense. Just out walking peaches. I got some sad news to report to you guys today. Uh, I had to put my my son, my male, I had to put him down. He had uh, attacked me two nights ago. It was an unprovoked attack. It was around feed time. And I do the same thing for the past two years since I'm had him and the three years that I'm had peaches. And he was in terrible shape when I first picked him up, brought him back to health, you know, blood work, everything. Spent a lot of time with that dog to get him right. And unfortunately, like I said, he attacked me unprovokedly the other night and I had no choice but to put him down. Literally no choice but to put him down. It was the right thing to do. And the way how it went down, it was a uh, feed time, and I was feeding him. And I sit down next to his, uh, I sit down on his barrel, and I feed him, and I talk to him, you know. And I, right after he was, he gets fed, I pick up the water bill, I mean the feed bill, and I put it on top of his dog box, and I pat him. What's up? You know, pat him. And, you know, talk to him, what do you know, weird stuff, you know, dead as boy, how's my big boy tonight? And, um, it was some hay stuck in between the collar and his, and, you know, and his first skin. So I went to go take the hay out of the collar. And as I re reached on to grip the collar, he went for my arm. Not no nip. He literally went for my arm. Like he was attacking another dog or catching a hawk. And if he did, if I didn't have that collar on his, around his neck, man, my arm would have been freaking mince meat. I'm telling you, that's how bad it was. And uh, I was able to grip his collar and, you know, try to, try to calm him down, try to talk to him. He wasn't having it. So I backed out of the kennel with him stealing my, with me still gripping his collar. I was not letting that collar go. So as I, it's fucking hard for me to talk about it, but, but as I backed out of the kennel, closed the kennel gate, he rushed me. He tried to rush the gate. Hey! So I went to Peaches, which is right next, right next to his kennel. Picked up her feet, boo, patted her, you know, played with her for a little bit. And then I went and I hung up. I went through to the tr treadmill, put the cover over the treadmill. And I went back to him to see if, if he had calmed on. And he didn't. He rushed the, he rushed the uh, door again. So I said, I have no choice but to put you down, my man. You, you have to go, you know. So I went to the to the vet. I got some pills to uh, sedate him. What's up, guys? To um, afternoon to you know sedate him, make him feel a little sleepy and happy go lucky. And it worked because when I went to the kennel, that I back to the kennel that I the next day. Hey, he went for me again, man. I'm like, you know what? It. You, got, you just got to go. You just got to go, bro. And I ain't gonna lie, it hurt me, man. So I put him in the car, we went to the vet, put him down, and I cried. I ain't gonna lie, I cried. And I cried all the way home. And then when I woke up the next morning, I broke down and I cried again to see his counter open, you know? Like if you really are into these dogs and you really give these dogs your all 110% and they and they have a fucked up temperament like that and they go off on you and you have no choice but to put them down, it hurts, man. It hurts. It hurts like they died of natural causes, man, you know? And it's unfortunately, it's un I mean, um, it's unfortunate, but it had to be done, you know what I mean? It wasn't a good representation of your breed, and I will, will not allow that. Even if she did that, 
I would do the same thing. It's not a good representation of the breed. His mind wasn't right. He was he was not stable. And not only that, my wife goes down to feed these dogs, man. I'm not around to feed them at that time. She would go down and feed them for me and, and show them love the same way. I mean, it's unfortunate that it happened, but you have to do the right thing. Don't turn a blind eye, keep this dog alive, and then pass him on to someone else because he could have, he could really hurt somebody in that incident, all right? I saw you so, I said I gotta get the gas container. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah guys, you just have to remember to always do right by these dogs, you know? Proper temperament is everything. And I'm just happy that I didn't breed that dog. A lot of people offered to breed to, to him. I'm just happy that it didn't go through. Cause I didn't, I would not want something like that to be out in the world. You know what I mean? And we already have bad publicity with these dogs as it is. So yeah, man, just remember to practice proper dog ownership and uh, keep on bulldogging, guys. Bless.